Hi Leo, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Leo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading, where I'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. The first two cards that came out were the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. Three and Four of Swords. So ask yourself, 78 cards in the tarot. The first two cards that come out are the Three and Four of Swords. What does that mean? That is a synchronicity. This is a message from your angels and guides telling you to detach from external outcomes. This is causing an energy block, and this is preventing them from bringing a manifestation to you. This is something that can be done easily when you tell yourself, I am not going to be happy when something happens. I am happy now. I'll give an example. Rather than be like, I will be happy when, insert event, when I'm rich, when I'm with my soulmate, when I'm pregnant. Instead of that, tell yourself, I'm happy right now on the journey or process to that outcome. It works every single time. So I'll give an example. When I wanted to accumulate wealth, I rather than tell my angels and guides, I want to make money, I told them, angels and guides, show me how to make passive income. That's it. I'm happy now. I want to know how to make passive income because the byproduct from that is getting rich. Now we have 12 different Amazon brands. We have Airbnbs. We have day trading. We have YouTube channels all online, right? Passive income. So right now your angels and guides are telling you that you are close to victory. You got the six of wands. You got the four of pentacles. You are so close to victory. You are meant to be rich. You're meant to travel first class. You're meant to be in a luxury villa. You're meant to buy that watch, that purse, anything you're looking for. It's all here for you right now. And your guides are telling you that by finding joy in the simple things, simplicity is the strength in your life. Simplicity leads that, to that tranquil life. That is how you get there. And right now your angels and guides are telling you to find ways to make your life simple because that, that simplicity is the last thing, is, the, is, the, is like the exact opposite of, of overcomplication or it's not even a word, but overcomplicating things. Or even like what you're not looking for is multitasking. Let me put you like that. You don't want to put 10% energy into 10 different things and get 10% results, right? So right now your angels and guides are telling you, how can you make your life simple? The food that you eat, how can you make that simple? The shows that you watch, the conversations that you have, right? How can you really make your life simple? I'll give an example. Like when I wash the dishes, Rather than be like, I'm going to wash the dishes and I'm going to have a conversation. I'm going to check my phone. I literally throw on some headphones and I wash the dishes. That's it. That's all I'm doing. And as I'm washing it, I'm getting download after download after download of what I should be doing. And my angels and guides are telling me how to make money, how to meet my soulmate, what I should do, what I should eat, everything. My whole day is being planned for me. But had I been washing the dishes and been thinking, all right, I'm washing the dishes, how do I, what should I do tomorrow? And I'm thinking, it doesn't work, guys. If it worked, where is it at, right? That strategy is flawed. Now, check this out. Calm, freedom, transformation, and power. Your angels and guides are telling you that the freedom that you seek will come, in a, will, will come when you have harmony in your life and that's melody in your thoughts, when you're nice and calm, right? Then you will find and accept the rhythm of life and then your life will get easy. So right now, ask yourself this. Do you want to get rich? Do you want to meet your soulmate? The answer is yes. What strategy can you use? Not thinking, right? When you're not thinking, you're allowing. When you're allowing, that's when you're gifted. What does that really mean? Right now, rather than be like, how can I meet my soulmate? Should I go to yoga class? Should I go, you know, online? Should I date someone? What should I do? Rather than all that, tell yourself, how can I present the best version of myself to the world? Then what you should do next will come to you. This works every single time. So for example, eat foods that make you feel good. That's step number one. Watch shows that raise your frequency. Step number two, right? Don't watch horror movies if they don't make you feel good, right? Things like that will get you there because right now you're on a major, you're on a cusp of a transformation and your point of attraction, your power comes from this transformation. So right now you are going to be confident. You're going to be able to change your life. You're going to know exactly what to do. You're going to get download after download, clarity after clarity, telling you exactly how to be the best version of yourself. This is going to make you feel really rejuvenated and really free. And this is something that is going to be happening more and more and more for you. All you have to do is be aware and look for the signs. Your angels and guides speak to you through synchronicities. Remember the beginning of the read, three and four swords? That's a synchronicity. 
You might see angel numbers. You might see feathers. You might hear sounds. These things are happening for a reason, right? Right now, be aware of these things and look for these signs because they will definitely be guiding you right now. Now, very interesting. Look at this. You got the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Take a look at both these cards. What do they look like, right? It pictures a thousand words. They are mystical, magical, spiritual, quantum, if you want to get scientific. This energy right here is exactly how you get what you're looking for. Right now, you're doing a lot of that third dimensional energy and particle and matter. Action steps. That's great and all, but that's 50% of it. The other 50% is visualizing, manifesting, journaling. Now, that other 50% that I just spoke of, this right here is, I would call it the 80%. Because this is, if you don't have imagination or creativity, nothing gets done. So right now, your angels and guides are telling you, spend some time and manifest what you're looking for by celebrating that victory beforehand. So for example, if you are waiting to meet your soulmate, feel what it feels like to be with your soulmate when you're 80 years old. Like you've known them for the last 50 years, right? 30 years, 20 years, however years. Imagine you've been, imagine at least 10 years. You guys have been dating, you moved in together, you bought a house. How would that feel? How you had 10 different set birthday parties together. You had 10 different, you know, anniversaries together. How does that feel? Because feeling is the secret. That is how you attract what you're looking for. And right now you also have the five of cups and the nine of swords and your angels and guides are telling you that your challenges will turn into possibilities when your perception towards these challenges change, right? And what that really means is everything is happening for you, not to you. So I'll give you an example. If only you are lucky enough to be wrong, that's my motto with my wife. If my wife and I are wrong, we are, we are laughing and jumping for joy. Why? Because that means something better is about to happen. If you are wrong, something better, your life is about to improve, right? Because you realized you were wrong. So therefore, the fear of rejection is out the window. The fear of failure is out the window. Do you know how many more businesses you will start? Do you know how many more people you will date? Because you're not worried about rejection or failure. And that's what's going on. Right now you have the nine of cups and you also have the two of wands. So your angels and guides are telling you that a lot of offerings, a lot of different possibilities, outcomes are going to be presented to you. And right now to be decisive for this energy, right? Respond, don't react. And understand that your point of attraction, your power is in the present moment. So as long as you're doing things that keep you in the present moment, hence going for a walk, journaling, conversations, talking to your friends, watching shows, but being in the present, not being in that distant memory of the familiar past or the, 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 the you know, predictable future, but being committed to the vision and story of the future, now everything will change and you will find balance. And that balance is exactly what will bring your manifestations to you. So remember, like at the end of the day, you are someone that has the energy to tap into the third dimension, but also the fifth dimension. The third dimension has a lot of time and space, which takes forever. The fifth dimension, no time or space. Like that, you can manifest, right? That's why you don't want to be thinking what to do, third dimension. You want to be feeling what to do, fifth dimension. All right, Leo, now let's tap into some money and some love. All you got to do is write down the following affirmation in the comment section and quantum entangle with abundance. That is your birthright by breathing life into these words. You want to feel these words as you write them. So command, assume, expect this energy. Let the universe know you're ready by writing these words down in the comment section and tapping into this affirmation. All right, so your affirmation for today is I learned the way on the way. I love this one. This is you saying you're becoming the cause and effect. You're not waiting for perfection. Instead, progress. Strive for progress, not perfection. You don't fear it. I learned the way on the way. Yes, you do. You are ready for the abundance. You are ready for happiness. I learned the way on the way. Yes, you do. Write that down in the comment section. Give this video a like right now. Let your angels and guides know that you command, assume, expect abundance. I learned the way on the way. All right, Leo, now final message from your spirit guides. All right now they say, you needn't worry. Look at that, you needn't worry. All right now their message to you is, there's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it, right? So what does that mean? Right now, look at people from a soul-to-soul -soul perspective. 
If you're having a conversation with someone and someone seems distracted, it's not them. It's not their soul. It's just really their human uh, b limiting beliefs, their human filters, right? Their shadows. Right now, understand that everyone soul to soul does love you. So if someone is really just not really showing the love back, it's not reciprocated, it's because they're distracted, caught up in the matrix, and just really just don't take it personally. Do you, and they will follow. All right, Leo, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video, add subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.